Sunday, February 24, 2013. This is Mercedes Diesel Guy, and this is my 1995 Subaru Legacy L Outback. And one uh, one thing I've been chasing since the beginning has been the uh, transmission, which has never... Um, I've had the car almost a month now, and it hasn't quite uh, been performing perfectly. Now, I did some research, and uh, like I said, I don't think it's a hydraulic problem inside the transmission or a problem with the clutches, so... I um, went into the factory wiring, and um, I started to suspect vehicle speed sensor too. There's two sp vehicle speed sensors which are both on the transmission, um, one of which is uh, further down and you have to get underneath the car, and one of which is closer up top now. Um, but all of those three things together su uh, suggested a possible fault with vehicle speed sensor too. Now, I don't know if it was completely... Uh, worn out or just on its way out, but either way, um, it certainly was an issue. Uh, I looked around and it looks like the sensor would cost me about $100 to replace it with a new one, so yesterday I went to the junkyard and I pulled three of them, just in case. And let me show you what it looks like here. This is actually the old one. I already took it out of the car. And it actually sits on the passenger side of the transmission, right by the uh, differential dipstick. Now this is native to the automatic models. I think maybe the uh, manual models do have some kind of a speed sensor, but uh, it is different and might be mounted in a different location. It's not something I ever had to deal with. And uh, taking it out is really easy. I will um, show you up close as I can in the car, but uh, first you just disconnect the uh, connector from the top. You just have to pry, uh, push in the little tab, release the electrical connector, and then use a 17 millimeter wrench on the um, on the hex fitting here and you know just spin it out uh, counterclockwise and then clockwise to install it. I don't know what the exact torque is but uh, you don't really need, you don't really need a lot on it so just use your best judgment. So let me show you the uh, engine compartment. Now it's actually reasonably easy to access uh, although very difficult to show you here but this is the passenger side of the transmission. And I'm trying to uh, angle down here and I'm really not seeing anything useful but okay here is the see the yellow thing that is the front differential dipstick and if you go if just forward to that if you see that electrical connector right down there that right there is vehicle speed sensor number two so you just release the connector and uh, you can get a 17 millimeter wrench down there pretty easy and uh, take the sensor out shouldn't take you more than uh, you know five minutes to uh, replace the sensor and then the last thing I wanted to show you uh, was the differences between the sensors. This is the old one that came out of the car. And uh, you can see here this marking. Uh, I'm really not sure which way I'm supposed to read that. I'm not sure if it's an SN or something else. Um, but if you turn it around 180 degrees, you do see the Fuji Heavy Industries logo right there, which indicates this is a genuine Subaru part. But the differences I found, the difference that I found between these uh, sensors I have, like I said, I pulled three of them out of other cars, uh, were this stamping right here. Now, the one that came out of the uh, um, car wa had a number two stamping on it. And I think uh, the one I installed had a three or four stamping. Uh, and let me show you the other ones I got. So like I said, I think the one I installed yesterday had a number 3 stamping on it. This other one here has a 4, and this one has a 7. Now, I don't know that this indicates any difference at all between the parts, or uh, or maybe it's just some kind of a, an identifier for uh, manufacturing. But the one I installed, even though it didn't have the exact same stamping, did seem to uh, work properly. Took the car out for a brief test drive and the speedometer seemed to behave normally as did the shifting. So only time will tell if this uh, actually permanently solves my problems, but I'm leaning towards yes. Um, so that's all. That's uh, just a little bit about the sensor. It doesn't make too much sense to actually replace it on camera because it's so easy to do and like I said I showed you how to do it. You just need a 17 millimeter wrench and you have to disconnect that connector. So this is Mercedes Diesel Guy. Thanks for watching.